Hello there. No. As I'm taking a slight pause before we wait for BP to st uh, finish his little stroll from New York to home, um, from Old Ridge, I'm going to do something I've been threatening to do for some time, and this is trying to sim. The actual base of this is 2014 when I got it, and it's been patched up to 2016. And what we're going to do is we're going to take just get inside the uh, cab when I remember who when I remember who are we are down here I'm a, what we're going to do is take the flying Scotsman over the top of Sharp now Sharp is one of the worst crimes in Britain. Normally in the steam area you would actually have a uh, banker engine either pushing it or pulling it to the top. But we are going to do it uh, as it is. So uh, without further ado let's have a go at this. i just let the uh, brakes release fully. Uh, release. There we go go forward and we can only do 10 mile an hour on this bit and we're going to cool up first then we've got to fill up with water and well, we'll just put running lights on and this is actually in modern times so uh, we will have the modern signals and uh, all the other stuff to watch out for but the big promise is it's actually managing somehow to get it still over the top without actually stopping and running out of steam. I'll explain as, I'm, as we're going on what I'm actually doing. Now I'm going to come outside the cab because I'm not going to try and do anything in the cab. It's, uh, I know my limits. There's a while since I've played this scenario, but it's one of my favourites. I will tell you I'm using automatic climbing on here. Is it because I'm just too damn lazy to uh, to try and keep up with both things? Get a little bit more. Right, we're coming into it now. First thing is to get it under the cooling point. Don't think we've quite made it, so we'll just go on a bit further. Bit, a bit more, just get it right to the front there. Right, I think we're there now. Just put the brakes on. And all we've got to do now is remember how to start cooling, which we're doing now. Right. We're waiting for the little bar here. To finish, uh, yes, good, we got cool. We'll go back to gate 4 mark, and I'm going to ch check where the gate 4 marker is. I want to get the right one here. There we are. This is Charles, what we've got to do next. We're here, and we've got to back up, back down to here. And we'll just check. Which is near enough where we just were, so we're we'll cool back on here. We put the reverse it into reverse, release the brakes again, and we we'll just uh, get rid of that. I don't need that at the moment. Just wait for the brakes to release, which they have. I know. Jump back in. I don't want too much speed on this. There is no actual time limit on this, like shells of time and an ETA and the rest of it. Luckily there is no actual time limit. Just trying to remember how all the controls. And we're gonna to have to set some points in the uh, down to the driver or the fireman to set the point. Uh, we better just 
get ready to stop you. A bit I found difficult on this particular scenario, and this is our first team workshop by the way, it's not part of the game. I like to try and sim, but it's flaming expensive. The game itself is cheap, but to do anything other than very basic stuff, you need a lot of uh, downloadable content. I hate to think how many this has got, and it's got like four or five different parts of downloadable content in this particular scenario. Start to apply the brake, and we're there. And now that's going to go across the game. And we put it what they call self-lapped, which means it'll hold whatever the brake setting is at the moment, rather than having to go all the way through. Once this bit is, this is run through, right? Set the poison roll cord onto the water road. All right, so we need. The wrong one again. Get the right one the first time there. We've got to just find it where the water road is. And that is here. So we need to swap this point over and that one will take us to that bit. I'm going to do this in short bursts. Um, we'll see about three videos to do. The first one is just going to be as it cooling up and uh, watering up and going to pick the uh, carriages up. Right. To start off again as you see we're not allowed to go more than 10 miles an hour and you can see that the water is quote uh, was, no, it doesn't show the water there. We've got 800, 620 gallons, which won't be enough, and I think I better shut the regulator off. To run the steamer is a case of balancing these two controls. It's not like an electric or a diesel where you just open the throttle and she goes. These things take a bit more driving or coming out the side again maybe cheating but put it on the self lap so and but so far to push out when we get in place. Come past the cool road a bit more and up ahead of us there we are we see it now we're coming into it and that doesn't go in this bit, it actually goes back into the, the bunker. There's a water, big water tank in the bunker. We just need a little bit more. I think we're, we're there. So we just apply the brakes again. I'm going to self lap. If we come back, the hair, we are now filling the water. Now this is the easy bit. <coughs> this is a nice scenario, it actually runs you into quite easily. It's slow running to get used to the uh, thing. And that will tell us once that little red timer mark goes. Because everything takes so long as you see it's still filling up with water. These things uh, have been described as a giant kettle on wheels. Steam trains. <laughs> Once we get out onto the main line, we will no longer have to worry about points ourselves. That will be looked after by the uh, signalman. But in the yard, it's down to you to set your road and uh, to check the road set correctly. And we're still filling up the water, 4,000 gallons so far. Uh, 
Now this is, let's say this I have threatened you all with for a long time. I think when I got the 200 subscribers I threatened it, when I'd done a year I threatened it. Well, I sort of take a change as my wheel has uh, decided to uh, quit on me at the moment. I sort of do something I don't need a wheel for. If I can't fly to save me life, flight sim was out. So I told you this is a go, right. Set your route for gate 3, avoiding the turntable. Right, show task. Right, that's where we've got to go. To there. This one. That's right. That's the turntable. That we have to avoid, so. Looks like we come round that side of it. There. There. And they just check the okay back there, yep. That will take us. And then we just run it right the way through there. Yep, this should take us through, so we will get back in the cab. Take the not the brakes off again and slow but sure. So I think there's a five mile and a half limit up here somewhere. Hopefully not on the part of the course where I can't see one here. Slow it down. You have to keep an eye on the lights. They have on the other side of the signal box so they don't apply to us. The turntable is straight up ahead here and we should be turned up and around it. Indeed we are. I'm not a great one for driving um, diesel or electric, I much prefer the steam. Gives me more a challenge. And one of the reasons you have, you have slow run in the yards is the tracks are not quite as well maintained as those out in the main line. And there's a lot more traffic running about here. You have to go slow so you can stop quite easily. We're coming up to Council Steam Town Gate 3. Should we probably stop at that, but we're going to keep going. We should have right away here. If we end that, it's soon times at the end. This should be the, the last bit before we get out onto the main line. Pick our carriages up. I'm watching this orange bit here, I want to stop in that area. I don't want to go too quickly now. I do want to get into it. Just do a little and often on the regulator, just enough to keep that Go on there, you can buy the brakes. Hold the brakes there, and it's now going up onto the next weight. You see, there's a modern line that's got all the overhead car tables. Now we are going to downside in two, now we just need to check where we're going next. So. Filter. 
And we uh and we're up there so it looks like where are we? We're all the way up there, so we actually gotta go this way. We've got to reverse this. In that can gate one are here. Right, just check the courses are okay. Yep. So we're gonna reverse it again. And it looks like everything's been set for us, but we hope so. Once we start the roll, the picture down here should change, and that has. Look backwards. And we're now turning on to towards Steam, Steam Town Gate 1. This is where you hope you've got all the points are set correctly because if they're not, there'll be a nasty mess. We've done the sound we've done before, we're going into the little orange box and put the brakes on it. Get that ready to uh, apply the brakes. I'll explain, when we get going, I'll explain the controls, which is quite simple. They have to be simple, I can understand them. And I think in this one, we just go on. Alright, we get in here and we will, we will stop here because we want to check. Everything's ready to pick our cultures up. Stop. Turn it off again and have a look. Now, our next task is couple up to these ones. That's okay there. Yeah. No, that's, that's the right way. And we are. All the way up here. Yep, that's right. It looks about right, so we will keep going back. Take the brakes off again, release them. This is where you soon find out who got it wrong. And when you connect that, we mustn't be going too fast, but two mile an hour is nice. If you've got passengers in there already, you don't want to shake them up when you connect up. I'm just going to look out the other side. Yeah, down side in two, this is the one we want, and I'll. Culture should be in there. Just swap from side to side to get a good move. Now we connect up the carriages and there we will end up for this time. A little short boat so this next one will be we'll try and try and do the climb in one hit, which will be a bit longer. And the descent, which is a bit I always find more difficult, believe it or not. Trying to match the brake, the speed, to keep the steam up, I find uh, a task in itself, which is why I have manual or oh, automatic climbing on there. Some people consider it cheating, and we've got to ask for if we can pass this red signal, we can. Certain good time because we just said no, we'd have had to stop. 
but no the signal one is the rear that uh, we're on our way here. Couldn't do this in the old days of course. Because you didn't have a sort of communications on the uh, train. Just take it a bit quicker once we're going back. We're now allowed to go 15 miles an hour, so we will get closer to that. I won't be even attempting to get anywhere near the speed when we get going, and I think I see our carriages off the side here, we should be turning here, we are look at the other side but now let's get ready to start slowing down Brakes on a, a, sm a smidgen to try out the other side. It breaks off again. We're now down to two mile an hour and slowing. So we just give it a whiff more steam. Alright, and don't worry that you've Farming sim fans, this is a one-off. I shan't be doing this very often. But just got to keep a promise I've made some time ago. And I'm not certain if we're there or not. No, we're not quite, so we'll take the brake off. We are now. And there you see our complete train. Right, with that I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. If you like what you saw, please consider leaving a like. If you're new to the uh, channel and want to see more, uh, feel free to subscribe. And I'm just checking whether we've got a building next. And how we get out of here. Our next one is quite... I think we do this in four hits. Next one will be to the station up ahead here where we explain a little bit more about trains here it's going to be quite a, quite a decent one you see that everything's ready here now for us it is not a case of just driving if you've got any comments feel free to do so and with that man saying cheerio for now cheerio